Uh, my name is Paula Pérez. I work at the Polytechnical Institute of Port. I teach at SCAP. I'm coordinator of the unit of e-learning of IPP and uh, of the unit of innovation in education of CIS, Research Center of Communication and Education. This is Annabella Mesquita. She also works at the Polytechnical Institute of Porto. Uh, she is Vice President of uh, SCAP and uh, she is the Coordinator of SIS. Um, in this session, I will describe a European project named Master Model to Game Time in your classroom, the Game Time project. Uh, I will talk about the context of the Game Time project and then the ongoing activities and the next steps. So, uh, according to the document Supporting Teacher Education for Better Learning Outcomes, um, one of the, the main goals of the European Union is to encourage teachers uh, to develop their pedagogical competences in order to increase the quality of teaching and learning at school. Um, the Open Up Education document underlines the importance of development and the availability of the open education resources. According to these documents, 70% of the teachers in the uh, European Union acknowledge the importance of lifelong no learning and of a specific training and on uh, teaching learning methods through digital instruments. Um, in order to face uh, these problems, the Game Time project intends to develop a professional and pedagogical competence among teachers using uh, information communication technology and open education resources. Uh, it intends to develop a tool for the professional development of teachers uh, using a creative classrooms uh, and support by information communication technologies and also using open education resources. It also intends to take advantage of the potential uh, of the online contents. Students can study the contents at home or at uh, work and then the classes can be used to promote interactive uh, activities, laboratorial. This is a flipped classroom. Uh, this project starts in 2014 and uh, will end in 2016. Uh, the target group of this project is the secondary uh, education. Seven partners participate in this, in this project. Uh, Spain, Italy, United Kingdom, Bulgaria, Turkey, Portugal and Norway. Um, so, um, the, the first steps that we have been developing is to try to identify the good practices uh, of creative classroom and educational games, uh, always using information communication technology. Um, first, we, we try, we made some research on database of scientific papers related to games and creative classrooms implementation and at the same time we carry out an uh, online questionnaire. Uh, this questionnaire uh, had three groups. One of the groups uh, we uh, uh, ask for teachers from secondary schools about identification, degree obtained, area of knowledge, average of students, age and number of students per class. The second group was about uh, the use of information technologies, uh, the, the environment of the, the classroom, the use of uh, learning management systems and the development of uh, an education games. The first question was about flipped classroom. 
we asked uh, teachers if they knew what uh, flipped classroom is. Uh, this questionnaire was carried out at the beginning of 2015. We had 39 answers, 32 describing implementation of creative classroom. Uh, most teachers were from science and from uh, uh, ICT. Um, as a result, we can state that uh, usually teachers and students has uh, easy access to the internet. Uh, they are using tablets uh, to access the internet. They do it in a regular base. And the classrooms are equipped with computers connected to the internet. Some of them are also using an interactive board. Uh, most of the teachers are using a Moodle platform complement to other platforms like blogs, L platform, iTunes, and uh, so on. Um, the use of the platform uh, is referred uh, as a way to share contents with the students and also to make summaries and to make the schedule available to, to the students. Um, in many schools, this is mandatory. Uh, the majority of the teachers refer to uh, having development uh, educational games. Uh, six 5% know what uh, flip classroom is, and 28% have already implemented. Um, the total amount of time uh, when teachers are implementing a creative classroom, um, it can be from um, 19 until one year, and usually they use to support activities like uh, problem solving, creative communication strategies, creative writing, text analysis, project work, uh, collaborative work, uh, and uh, so on. Uh, they are using different kinds of technology, such as digital documents, Camtasia, PowerPoint, Audacity, Moodle, Facebook, uh, and so on. Um, at the same time, with the, the, the research in the scientific database, we and with the questionnaire, we developed, uh, um, we try to, to look at scientific databases in order to uh, study 10 creative classrooms and 10 education games. Uh, we try to find uh, scientific papers that describe these kinds of activities. As a result, a result we can see that uh, almost teachers um, have done a qualitative data analysis. Uh, teachers want to improve the creativity, but sometimes they, they say that uh, it's not easy to measure the, the creativity. Creative classroom, they said that it's good to make students to think in a different way and uh, uh, to create a good environment among teachers and students is also uh, an objective of uh, the teacher that wants to implement these kind of uh, activities. Uh, creative classrooms are good to promote the social constructivism, according to the teachers. Uh, they are effective, they help students to learn more. Teachers can improve uh, or teacher competences. Students like, usually, they like this kind of activities. They are actively involved, but they need, usually, they need a prompt feedback when they are participating in these kinds of activities. Uh, they also uh, report some difficult to, to manage time when they are implementing this kind of activity. Um, according to this research, uh, we, can, we could identify uh, some competences. This is the list of the competences that uh, um, are required to the teacher. The most referred was to be creative. Um, we also identify the main competences related to the students in order to participate in these kind of activities, and the most referred was learning deeply. So, um, as a conclusion, because we are doing these projects now, because this is the, the first conclusions, we can say that the use of creative classroom strategies seems to improve learning. Um, in general, students have internet access and feel motivated to participate in these kinds of activities. 
so teachers refer that they are having a good results and uh, this is a way to motivate students. They feel that students are motivated when they participate in this kind of activities. So this is a good way to uh, motivate also the teacher to continue developing these such of materials. Um, at this moment, we are almost finishing the, the handbook. This is uh, um, a book with eight chapters related to creative classroom, teaching, innovator, flip methodology, and so on. How can we create a video? Uh, many, uh, many topics. And uh, this handbook will support the online environment because we are uh, preparing a course to, uh, to the teachers that want to implement these kinds uh, of uh, activities. Okay. Thank you.